up there. Hey everyone, it's Adam with Seaside Vacations. I'm at Jeanette's Pier in Nags Head with your beach report for Friday, August 26th. And rather than a full beach report, I'm gonna stay focused on a Hurricane Irene update. The conditions are definitely starting to show up here. The clouds are rolling in, it's a pretty overcast day. The wind is starting to pick up. I'm actually under the pier here just trying to stay out of the wind so you can hear me. And the waves and swell are starting to build as well. Uh, so the conditions are starting to show up, but the uh, hurricane winds probably won't show up until tomorrow. Although the tropical storm force winds should show up sometime later today, probably early morning uh, Saturday. So it's going to worsen as uh, the day progresses today and then as Saturday arrives. Uh, but good news is that as of this afternoon, Hurricane Irene has uh, been reduced to a Category 2 storm and the eye wall has broken up. And uh, since it's only about 24 hours until it's going to make landfall on the Outer Banks, it doesn't seem like there's going to be enough time for it to intensify. So the predictions are that it's going to reach land as a Category 2 and then uh, as it rolls up the coast, it's going to quickly fall down to a Category 1 storm. So definitely better predictions than we were getting yesterday when people were thinking that it was going to be Category 3 or maybe even a Category 4. So we're only looking for a Category 2 now. Definitely still a huge potential for uh, some significant impact on the Outer Banks, but much better than uh, what we were thinking yesterday. So my family has actually decided to stick it out. So we're going to hold down the fort here. So over the next couple days, I'm going to do my best to uh, get out some uh, updates for you guys as often as possible obviously trying to stay safe at the same time. So we'll see how that goes. Not sure if I'll be able to get to the beach, but uh, I should be able to get you some video of, of what the wind conditions and what the rain conditions are like. So we'll see how that goes. But uh, as of today, I'm actually gonna roll up the beach road here with you and we're gonna do uh, a before and after. So today I'm gonna roll up the beach road and just get some images of what things look like today. It's definitely getting pretty quiet. Uh, all of the Outer Banks is under a mandatory evacuation for both Dare and Currituck County for uh, visitors and residents. So it's real quiet down here. Uh, so I'm gonna show you a little bit of that. And then after the storm rolls through, I'm gonna get back on the beach road, run the same route and try to do some before and after so we can actually see what the uh, aftermath of the storm is gonna be like. So uh, stick with me. I'm gonna try to give updates as often as I can. And I wish you and yours the best. Stay safe wherever you are. And uh, please continue to send us some good vibes down here. Hopefully Hurricane Irene is nice to us. So we'll talk to you soon, thanks. There's our house with the webcam on it. So uh, as you can see, it is very close to the ocean and uh, very close to Jeanette's Pier. So there's a great view of Naxxed Beach and a great view of Jeanette's Pier. So as the hurricane gets close, definitely take a look at the webcam and you can take uh, in some of the images and, and figure out what it's really like firsthand. The beaches are looking pretty empty. Uh, we do have some people out, but not too many. See the waves and the swell are starting to arrive. Uh, we should get the first winds, tropical storm winds, to start to arrive later today, and then hurricane force winds will start to arrive early tomorrow. The swell and the waves are definitely starting to build. 